this is the second time I'm recording this video because first time I got a little talky and got kind of long. I'm going to try to keep this short. So many of you know, probably know I've started a second channel uh, mainly focusing on hardware. And one of the questions I got, which was a good question, am I going to be doing videos on the Raspberry Pi? The answer is yes, here and there. Uh, not very often for multiple reasons. One, uh, and I get, I've been asked a lot in the past, can you do videos on the Raspberry Pi? The Raspberry Pi is a Linux computer. You know how Linux works. 99% of what you're going to do on the Raspberry Pi is the same as a Linux desktop. So if you want to learn how the Raspberry Pi works, watch all the videos I already have up on Bash and, and Python and everything else uh, that I do on the Linux desktop computer because it's the same on a Raspberry Pi. Um, until you get into the GPIO pins, which is the input-output pins uh, that you would use for hardware tutorials or hardware projects like I'm going to be going over in my second channel. And the problem is many of my projects, I'm going to try to keep almost all of them under $20, even less if I can, um, where a Raspberry Pi already puts you over that. Now, uh, I know there's a $5 Raspberry Pi. Good luck getting a hold of one of those right now. In the future, that'd be a great option if you can actually get one of those for $5. Uh, but still overkill, if you're trying to turn, like, for example, a light on and off, a, a full-blown computer, which is what the Raspberry Pi is, is overkill. Uh, I mean, if you can get it at the right price, great, but you don't need that. All you need is, like, an Arduino or some sort of microcontroller and a relay switch. Um, and you can get both the microcontroller and the relay for, like, three bucks each. So you're looking at a six, seven dollar project, you know, where the Raspberry Pi, again, already is... 35, 40 bucks if you count shipping before all, you know, SD card and power supply and everything. So, but there are times where using the Raspberry Pi would come in handy. So, in the past, I did a video on a wall outlet that I had that ran Linux already. It was like 15, 20 bucks. I could SSH into it, get a shell, a root shell, and then modify the web interface and control lights through that, which is great, but it was still 15, 20 bucks to control one light or whatever I plugged into it. Then, and this is something I'll probably do a video on in the future, I came across these. These are Zap plugs. Um, and you can get five of these with two wireless remote controls for 25, 30 bucks. Uh, and I have a bunch of them in my house. Now these themselves don't run Linux, which is probably because they're not full-blown computers like the other one was. It's just a, probably a small microcontroller in there. Uh, but it works on radio frequencies. Um, I think it was it was either 333 megahertz or 433. Anyway, I found a tutorial online where you can buy yourself a little transmitter and a receiver, both of them for about three bucks, maybe four bucks after shipping, and you hook it up to a Raspberry Pi, and then you can sniff the traffic from your remote, and then you can repeat it back. So now I have these set up. And I have the little antenna hooked up to the Raspberry Pi, and I can turn these on and off, and I can buy a hundred of these. And again, they're four or five bucks a pop, uh, and control whatever I plug into them, all from the Raspberry Pi through a web interface, uh, which is great. So in a case like that, where I'm scaling up the Raspberry Pi is great. Now, at the same time, I probably could do the same exact thing with an Arduino or an Arduino clone for a pr fraction of the price if I was smart enough to know how to do that, at this point I'm not, maybe someday I will, and then I can use that Raspberry Pi for something else. But right now it's controlling a lot of the lights in my house. Um, so yeah, I will definitely be doing videos on the Raspberry Pi, but not nearly as much as I will on Arduino type uh, microcontrollers, as well as, again, I've mentioned this a number of times, you'll see that we'll be doing lots of videos with it, is the ESP8266. And if you don't know what that is, Google it right now. Basically, it's a microcontroller, think like an Arduino where you can get inputs and outputs and sensors and controlled motors and switches and stuff. With Wi-Fi built in, it's only about this big. Um, let's oh, it's over there. Um, and you can get them for three or four bucks, which is pretty darn good. And with most of our project is going to be using one of those and a relay. And you can do a lot of stuff with that because you can set that little microcontroller up to be a web server. Now you can link into it with your mobile phone and turn things on and off, open doors, close doors, you know, unlock doors, that sort of stuff, all for under $10.
uh, where again, if you were to do something with the Raspberry Pi, not only is it bigger, but the cost goes up a lot. So again, yes, I'm going to be doing Raspberry Pi videos, but not too often. Uh, mainly going to focus on keeping things under $20. So thanks for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day. And be sure to check out my second channel. There should be a link in the description. Have a great day.